I, I, I could share one very short story from my interfaith experience. I was driving, I, I was taking a cab in Singapore and I saw that the driver had uh, the little statue of Buddha on, the, on at the front of his car and the statue had a flower. And I really appreciated that. I said, looks like you're a serious Buddhist, you're worshiping your Lord Buddha. And he said, yes, I love Lord Buddha. And he looked at me, he said, are you a Buddhist monk? I said, no, I'm a Hare Krishna monk. He said, how do you appreciate Buddhists if you are Hare Krishna? You're supposed to preach to me and try to convert me. I said, no, because, uh, you know, Buddha, we also accept him as the Supreme Lord in our tradition. I appreciate what you are doing. And we had such a wonderful conversation. He was asking me how he can advance spiritually. I told him, you know, uh, get spiritual knowledge, associate with advanced practitioners, chant the holy name of Lord Buddha, and uh, you will advance. And he was so happy at the end of the journey. You know, we told him how much do we pay? He said, you don't have to pay me anything, rather I will pay you. And he gave $20, you know, this was like really amazing taxi. The driver pays the passenger at the end of the journey. But uh, he was so impressed that uh, we appreciated him and his spiritual practices. So I was thinking, you know, it doesn't matter what people practice. As long as they practice it seriously, they will definitely advance. And we should just, you know, support and encourage everyone as much as we can. So that was something I've learned. So thank you.